from 1974 Grindhouse releasing. We've got William Shatner in Impulse, a film by William Graffe or Griefy or you know bad with pronunciation, so we're not going to hold that against me. Uh, cool little box for this one, as you can see there. That's shiny. This not so much. We've got Impulse on the bottom. We've got Impulse on the side, along with the Grindhouse logo, and on the back we've got pictures from the film. And we've got your extras now straight up front. I'll tell you, the first thing you see when you hit play on this is a little window telling you that a lot of the master elements, or I think maybe all the master elements, have been destroyed. So they had the best possible source they could find to make the Blu-ray of this. So it looks fine. Uh, probably looks better than this movie is ever going to look or ever has looked. It may not necessarily pop off the screen at every portion of the film, but it still looks fairly decent, and it looks good enough for me. I'm sure it looks good enough for you. Um, Grindhouse always, in my opinion, does the best work on stuff like this. Kind of the criterion of horror, I believe I've called it that before, which it's definitely a true term for them. I was collecting these movies for, on DVD back when I was waiting for stuff like Gone with the Pope to come out for years until it finally did come out. So I'm a big fan of Grindhouse releasing. Um... And you can see here all your extras here. Now, one thing, there's two discs. There's a disc with the Blu-ray, uh, the movie. There's also another Blu-ray disc with the features. I wish there's some features on both, but the main features are on the uh, second disc. But there is, like I said, other surprises. So there are um, little hidden things there. If you just move your arrows around one way to the other, there's like a little weird short film on the first disc. Uh, on the second disc, there's like a thing where... They were preparing to interview him, and they have like him just basically directing the interview. <laughs> so just little little weird things like that. There's a there's a hidden gem on there about a band that wrote a song about the movie. So there's definitely cool things to pardon the dog bark in the background, but there's definitely cool things to uh, sink your teeth into with this film. And this film starts off black and white, and there's William Shatner who plays Matthew in it. Uh, I forgot his name. How did I forget his name? Uh, Matthew Stone, that's what it is. And that's him when he's a little kid, and he sees a man try to get rough with his mom. So he gets the sword, and I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, so you can assume what happens. Well, he's never the same. He grows up pretty crazy, and he's kind of hustling his way through women and stuff. And whenever he gets upset, he gets pretty violent. And that leads to him getting violent after meeting well, one woman. And her daughter sees him do what he does. And it becomes kind of a thing after that to where she's trying to get people to believe her that he is insane and crazy. And nobody wants to believe her because she's kind of odd herself. And then, of course, he's also trying to hustle up a little scheme in between all of this. So the movie is interesting enough. Uh, the best part of the movie is probably just William Shatner being William Shatner. Because even if he thinks what he's doing is ridiculous, he just goes all in. And when he goes all in on it and hams it up, it's it's over the top kind of like Nicolas Cage now, but, you know, William Shatner may actually have him beat in some regard. There's just some stuff in here that's just hilarious when it's not meant to be, but it is. I give the movie a three out of five. And there is your box this comes with, always, the limited edition versions, or maybe the full version. Maybe this is the only version. I'm not sure, but first runs always seem to have this little window box now from Grindhouse. There is the cover that's on the disc there. Uh, I think the reverse cover is that again. I will check. But that is actually pretty cool. I like that. It says Impulse on the side of it. If we can get it in there, good. But yeah, I mean, if you just like over-the-top acting with a movie plot that's ridiculous. And there's some really good camera shots here. Like, uh, you know, I'm a big Tarantino fan. I think Tarantino was a fan of this director. And there is some really cool camera work that reminds you a little bit of some stuff Tarantino would do. Uh, during one portion, the car goes into the water, and we follow the car with the camera in it into the water. Uh, when the kid's holding the sword, you get like a really cool little shot of like the sword in the front with the woman in the back. It's just little things like that that's just really, really good. There is a painting of O'Shad himself. Uh, probably the same artist that did Gone with the Pope did that, I would imagine. There is your f first disc with just the movie, which we'll lay that right there. You can get a look at it. Here is your disc with the extras. And we will let you get a look at that. It's the girl. And yeah, the reverse cover is what we said it was. So yeah, good movie. Grindhouse House releasing never seems to let me down on anything. Uh, three out of five, like I said. 
Shatner's performance is over the top and great. And plus, the good thing about all these Grindhouse releases is when you pick them up, you have plenty of stuff to sit down and watch. And we got an audio commentary. We've got, you know, all kinds of little interviews. We've got like a, a multi hour like writing class or basically a speech. It's like a whole session of him giving like a, a school of filmmaking. And it's uh, recorded live. It's got the one well, the not Tim Ritter, but the other guy's like in all the Tim Ritter movies is introducing it. And like there's a Q and A of that. There's like the writing school thing. There's it's like hours of stuff. So <laughs> even if it doesn't look necessarily great, it's still there and that's appreciated. Grindhouse releasing is definitely appreciated. So pick this one up and uh, especially if you collect Grindhouse movies because it's great to watch at night time with a bunch of friends, maybe while you're throwing back a few white claws. But yeah. That's about all I can say about it.